If you live in the UK, you're very likely to have seen one of these before. It's a cockchafer, also known as a maybug, maybeetle, doodlebug, and if you believe Urban Dictionary, a wang beetle. They can be found throughout the UK, although they are more common in the south, but wherever you do find them, you'll tend to find them in good numbers. The adult beetles can be seen flying around in the evening between about mid-April and July, so right now is a great time to try and find one, if you want to. In my experience, I've found that quite a lot of people don't really like cockchafers, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the name, cockchafer, or maybe it's one of the other three reasons I can think of that people particularly dislike the cockchafer. The first one being the fact that they can fly, like a lot of beetles, and they're also attracted to light. This means if you have your windows open in the evening, there's a good chance at this time of the year you're going to find one flying into your house. And you can't really miss them. They're extremely noisy when they're flying. That's where they got the name Doodlebug from the uh, World War II flying bomb. The other reason you'd notice them is they'd be flying into everything, as they are one of the worst flying insects I've ever seen. Although they are a big beetle and they've got plenty of power to take off, they don't seem to be able to control this very well. As you can see here, they have folding wings. They need these because they are so big that they need very long wings that wouldn't normally fit underneath their wing casings, so they fold. The second reason I've found people don't like them is the fact that they think they have a sting. The spike on the rear of their body is in fact used for depositing eggs into the ground. It's not a sting, they can't bite you, they can't sting you, they can't hurt you, they are harmless. Though, and this brings me to my third reason for why people don't seem to like them, when people handle them they don't expect them to be so clawy. As you can see on their feet they have two claws per leg, and these are very sharp little claws that are used to climb up walls and trees and all sorts, but when they come in contact with human skin they dig in quite well, and you can feel them prickling their way along your skin as they walk. The adult beetles grow to about 30 to 35 millimeters in length, although size does vary quite a lot in between individuals it would seem. As I mentioned, they're attracted to light and they are often found in moth traps. As you can see here, I caught a handful of them in my moth trap in the last week of April. Another interesting feature of the Maybug is its strange fan-like antennae. The antennae can also be used to tell males and females apart. If you count the filaments, you'll find males have seven and females have six. These are sensory organs and can pick up on chemicals and smells. They feed on nectar and particularly like to feed on the leaves of oak trees. And finally, we get to the life cycle of the cockchafer. Starting in around June or July, the female will lay 10 to 20 eggs under the ground. After 21 days, these eggs will hatch into a small larvae. Between hatching and growing up to full size takes two years. This larvae will grow up to the size of nearly five centimeters long by eating plant roots. As you can see, the larvae's got some very large mandibles for chewing through those roots. So after spending two years under the ground feeding on roots and then pupating, the adult beetle hatches out in about October, but they don't emerge out the soil until the following April, May. So as you can now see, cockchafers are harmless and very interesting, and definitely don't deserve the opinion that people have of them. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And they can pick up vibrations, and it's believed this is one of the ways that some spiders communicate. So now let's watch this male wolf spider get his funk on.